and welcome. If you're new here to my channel, my name is Natasha and here I release weekly mindfulness, yoga and fitness classes. I create fusion classes, blending these three things in my own unique way. Today we're going to be doing a yoga workout. This class will tone and strengthen the entire body and leave you feeling amazing. So let's begin. Let's come to the back of our mats and move into child's pose. Reaching forward, gently rest your forehead down to the ground and close your eyes. Let's just take a little moment here to connect to the breath. Bring your focus to your in and exhale. Filling and emptying your lungs each time. Taking a gentle rock from side to side if that feels good in the hips. On your next inhale, reach across towards the left side through both arms, moving into the right side body here. Do your best to release the body into this stretch and using the breath to go deeper. Bring your left hand back and through the right arm, lift and reach back behind you. Expand and lift out through the chest and release coming back the way you came in. And let's take that same stretch on the right side now. Reaching towards the right side, you should feel a deep stretch now through the left side of your body. Keep that focus on your breathing and work to relax as much as you can into the stretch. Pull that right hand back behind you and lift out through the left side now. Take a deep breath in here and then exhale to release. Inhale as you roll out through the body, coming into an up dog, but with your thighs still on the floor. Draw those shoulders back, chest lifts, inhale and exhale to push back to child's pose. Keep this going, inhale, roll out to upward facing dog, shoulders back, look forward. And exhale, leading with the hips, push back to child's pose. Let's roll back out to upward facing dog. Lift your thighs off the mat this time. Your whole body should be engaged here. Now let's bring those toes around and let's push those hips back to downward facing dog. Continuing with the body rolls as we come back out to up dog. Weight distributed through the hands and toes. Inhale, push back to downward facing dog. And exhale, roll out this time to high plank. Lift your left leg and push back to three-legged dog. Stack your hips, dropping that left leg back behind you. Maintain stable alignment through the upper body. Return to three-legged dog. And step that left foot up in between your hands, coming into low lunge. Inhale, engage your core and lift up through the upper body. Core tightly engaged, let's take one cactus arms, drawing the elbows down. Then pushing yourself back, come into half split. Pull back on that left hip, keeping your hips in stable alignment. Taking one deep breath in, let's return to high lunge, lifting through the upper body. And exhale, lift that back knee off, coming into high lunge. Keep it going, lift and lower that back knee. Final time, lower the back knee, bring your hands down. Step that left leg back, coming into high plank. Keep that left leg elevated and then zip the body back together coming into your chaturanga, inhaling to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Let's just walk out our downward dog for a moment before we move straight into the other side. Now let's draw both those heels down, inhale. Exhale, roll the body out to high plank. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, push back to three-legged dog. Inhale, stack your hips. Exhale, return to three-legged dog. Inhale, step through with the right foot coming into low lunge. Engage your core, lifting up through the upper body. Draw those elbows down for a cactus arms. Inhale to extend. Exhale, push back to half split. Draw back through the right side of your hip, extending your upper body towards your right leg. Inhale to low lunge. 
Exhale, lifting to high lunge. Continue to lift and lower at your own pace. Final time, let's come down, lower the hands, step back with that right leg, keep it elevated and zip the body back together through Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Inhale as you lift your left leg to three-legged dog. Exhale as you step that left foot in between the hands and lift yourself to high lunge. Engaging your core, reaching up towards the sky through the upper body. Drop your back heel, coming into warrior two. Now reverse your warrior. Inhale as you reach back. Exhale, straighten that front leg and move to triangle. Keep full body engagement here as you transition from one pose to the next. Bringing your right fingertips to the side of your head. Lift and lower that right elbow. Core engagement is essential here. Keep going. Final time to wrap this up. Then extend your right arm towards the front of the mat. Bend into your front knee. And drop that right hand down. Step back through the left side to high plank. Keep that left leg elevated. Take an inhale and use your exhale to zip the body back together, moving through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale as we push back to downward facing dog. Inhale through the right side to three-legged dog. Exhale, step that right foot in between the hands and let's lift to high lunge. Exhale, drop that back heel, coming to warrior two. Drop that left hand to the base of your spine and reverse your warrior. Engaging your glutes and core muscles, extend your front leg. Drop forward through the upper body and cartwheel down, coming into triangle. Drop your left fingertips to the side of your head and let's take those side body crunches again. Try to move to the rhythm of your breath and keep your core tightly engaged. Final time, bend into your front knee and extend that left arm towards the front of the mat, holding your side angle lunge for a couple of breaths. Now let's drop that left hand down, step back through the right leg and keep it elevated. Chaturanga as you zip the body back together, inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Inhale as you lift your left leg to three legged dog. Exhale left knee to left elbow and extend. Bring your knee to chest, extend. And now twist left knee to right elbow and extend. That is the sequence, keep it going. Wherever you are, final time, extend, inhale, core engaged and hold. And then let's step that left foot up in between the hands and lift to high lunge. As you move into high lunge, you can drop down straight away into that left heel, coming into Skandasana. Bring your hands to the floor if you need some extra balance here. Keep your hands in prayer at the heart if you are able to. Now dropping your hands in between your feet, lift and extend both legs. Drawing those heels in and pointing your toes out, let's move into a goddess squat. Take a prana mudra through the fingers. Full body engagement here. 
Now squeezing both glutes as you extend your legs and facing the front, drop those hands down. Step your left leg back, keeping it elevated high plank. And again, let's zip the body back together, moving through our Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts to three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow, extend. Knee to chest, extend. And then cross under the body, right knee to left elbow, extend. Now, just keep this going. Final time and then hold your three-legged dog, taking a couple of deep breaths here. Now let's step that right foot in between the hands and transition to warrior two. Now dropping down into the opposite heel, coming back into skandasana. Final breath here and then drop your hands down, extending both legs and this time let's enjoy a nice deep forward fold. Close your eyes in your forward fold and relax your neck completely. Try also to relax your facial muscles as well, placing your hands and arms in a way that you feel comfortable with and benefits you in this pose. There is no right or wrong here, just do whatever feels good for you. On your next inhale, drop your hands down beneath your shoulders and lift to halfway lengthen. Turn out your front foot and come back into high plank, keeping that right leg elevated. And Chaturanga, inhaling to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Now we're going to transition to dolphin pose, so slowly bring your elbows down, interlace your fingers. When you have found your way into dolphin, let's move from here into elbow plank. Move at a speed that works for you, keeping your core tightly engaged. Final time coming back to plank and moving to side plank, lifting the left arm up, bringing those left fingertips to the side of your head and let's crunch, bringing the elbow up and down, lifting your hips as high as you can. Final time and then lift that elbow up, extend your arm, drop that right arm back down, coming into high plank. Push yourself back into those hips and then jump to the front. Let's come into a yogic squat for a couple of rounds of breath. Hands in prayer. Work to release the body on each exhale. Hands come down and you can release your neck. This is a beautiful decompression for the entire spine. It may also feel good even to rock gently forwards and backwards. Now let's extend your legs, jumping back into high plank and moving through your chaturanga. 
Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale pushing back to downward facing dog. Final round, dropping down to those elbows into dolphin. And when you're ready, transitioning from dolphin to elbow plank. Keep this going, core engaged. Final time and then coming into elbow plank and lifting out through that side body as we come to side plank, right arm extended, dropping those right fingertips down to the head and then moving straight into those crunches. Hips elevated, core engaged and just keep lifting and lowering. Final time and drop that right hand down, lift to high plank, push yourself back into those hips, bend through the knees and jump to the front. Now squatting and lowering the body so that you can bring your bum down to the ground and then come into boat pose. Holding your boat pose and bring your hands into prayer at the chest. Now keeping form through the body, lift and lower each elbow to each side like a yoga version of the Russian twist. As best you can, keep this going. Final time wherever you are, back to centre, extend your arms and if you wish you can extend your legs, hold for a couple of breaths and release, bring your knees into your chest and release your back down onto the mat, keeping your knees into the chest and gently rocking from side to side. And let's move into happy baby, taking the outer sides of your feet or big toes. Draw your knees down towards the floor and again, just gently rock from side to side if that feels good for you. Make sure that your lower back is firmly pressed down into the mat. Okay, let's release our happy baby. Bring your knees together, lifted above the hips. We're going to take a gentle spinal twist. So gently lower your knees towards the left side. Arms outstretched at the shoulder, palms down and look to your right side and just close your eyes here. Bring your focus to your breathing. Try to deepen and lengthen the breath. I also recommend just closing your eyes now as we finish this class holding our postures a little longer so that we can focus inward on our breathing. Head back to centre, engage your core and lift your legs, bringing those legs back to centre and opening through the knees, coming into reclined butterfly, holding this relaxing and nurturing pose for a couple of rounds of deep breath before we move into the other side. You can also take a prana mudra through the fingers here. Engage your core and let's lift your knees together. Slowly lower them towards the right side, opening the arms out to the shoulder. Again, bringing the palms down and looking over and across towards the left side. 
close your eyes here and again just rest, breathe deeply and allow your body to open itself. Lifting both knees back to centre with the soles of your feet down and when you're ready extend both legs, bring your hands down by your side. Coming into our final resting pose of Shavasana, open your palms to the sky and tuck your chin just slightly in. Close your eyes and allow yourself to drift on the gentle rhythm of your in and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. It is truly such an honor that you choose to practice with me. I release weekly classes, fitness, yoga, mindfulness. So if you enjoyed this class, subscribe now. Hit that bell notification so that you can meet me on the mat for next time. If you have an idea for a future class, write me a comment below. I wish you a beautiful day. Namaste.